The first one I want to show you is something very simple. To go into edit mode without having to click on the button on the, in the UI, just hit uh, E on your keyboard. So when I hit E, I go into edit. When I hit E again, I go into preview. If I want to go into present mode, I simply hit P. Now I'm in present mode. And if I hit P again, I go back into uh, regular mode. So I just find that quite helpful, saves time. When I want to save my dashboard, instead of going here and clicking on the save button, and going into a dialog box, unless I want to make notes about this version, I always just hit S on my keyboard. And when you hit S like that, it'll save uh, without the dialog box. It's just quicker, easier. And I find that's a, a helpful little shortcut. If you want to go into your JSON, it's Command or Control E. <coughs> so that's easily done. And Command or Control E again will put you back into the UI. Now, if I'm in edit mode, so let's hit E. <coughs> and I want to edit a widget. I could go down here and click on the edit button. But instead, the quicker way to do that is just to double click on the widget. <coughs> And that will bring up uh, the, um, the edit UI for that widget. Uh, something else that I find quite helpful, if I want to copy or move multiple widgets, you hold down Command or Control while selecting multiple widgets. And at that point, I can copy those or I can move them. Um, what you also may not know is that actually if you copy these widgets, you can paste them onto any dashboard. So you don't just copy and paste within a dashboard, you can actually copy those widgets to an entirely different dashboard. Often when I'm building a dashboard, uh, instead of creating a query from here, and by the way, when you do that, it's always best practice to name your query, because when you do that, if I go here and if I just put new query, then that way, when I'm looking for that query, if I can't find it, then it's here under new query. Whereas if they're just uh, not titled, it makes them hard to find. And by the way, you can also go in and quickly select unused queries to find any new ones that you have created. But also what I'll do is I'll go in here to the studio. I'll grab a data set. I will uh, create a lens and I may or may not save it, but when I'm done, uh, when I'm done creating that lens and I'm ready to use it on the dashboard, I'll go in here and I'll just put test lens and name it whatever would make sense, assuming you can type and spell, which obviously I cannot. And I'm going to clip that to my designer. And that will actually be added to every um, open dashboard that you have currently. In this case, I've only got the one. And there you can see, <coughs> excuse me, I've got my uh, test lens there, and then I can drag that onto my dashboard. Another quick tip, something that I use uh, a lot, is I'll create a hidden page, which is uh, it shows in here it's, it's hidden from navigation, and I'll call that a scratch page, and I will have my color palette in here. I'll have lenses that I'm uh, playing around with, or I've created or I'm not using, and I can just drag those in here and I can use them uh, as, uh, yeah, as required. So that's just a, another tip for you. Uh, something else you may not be aware that you can um, hold down shift while moving a widget or multiple widgets. And then as you, um, as you do that, what's happening is I'm actually toggling the flow. So I'm forcing other widgets to move um, out of the way. So that's a, uh, a helpful a little tip as well. So look, hopefully those little tips and tricks um, will make your life easier in CRMA. If there are other tips and tricks that you'd like to share, please add them in the comments. And I trust it was a helpful video. Have a great day.